Reciprocal The reciprocal of a fraction is obtained by switching its numerator and denominator. To find the reciprocal of a mixed number, first convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. Then switch the numerator and the denominator of the improper fraction. Notice that when you multiply a fraction and its reciprocal, the product is always 1. Example Find the reciprocal of 31 over 75. We switch the numerator and denominator to find the reciprocal 75 over 31. Find the reciprocal of 12 and a half. First, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. 12 and a half equals 25 over 2. Next, we switch the numerator and the denominator to find the reciprocal. 2 over 25. It is highest common factor. The highest common factor of two or more whole numbers is the largest whole number that divides each of the numbers. There are two methods of finding the highest common factor of two numbers. Method 1. List all the factors of each number, then list the common factors and choose the largest one. Find the HCF of 36 and 54. For the number 36, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. For the number 54, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. The highest common factor is 18. Hence, the HCF is 18. Method 2. List the prime factors, then multiply the common prime factors. Let's look at the same example. 36 and 54. The prime factors of 36 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. The prime factors of 54 are 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. The common prime factors are 2, 3 and 3. Let's multiply these. 2 into 3 into 3 equals to 18. Therefore, the highest common factor is 18. Least common multiple. The least common multiple of two or more non-zero whole numbers is the smallest whole number that is divisible by each of the numbers. There are two common methods for finding the least common multiple of two numbers. Method 1. List the multiples of each number and look for the smallest number that appears in each list. 
Let's look at one example. Find the least common multiple of 12 and 42. We list the multiples of each number. The multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. The multiples of 42 are 42, 84, 126, 168, 210. We see that the number 84 is the smallest number that appears in each list. Hence, LCM is 84. Method 2 Factor each of the numbers into primes. For each different prime number, in either of the factorizations, follow these steps. 1. Count the number of times it appears in each of the factorizations. 2. Take the largest of these two counts. 3. Write down the prime number as many times as the count in step 2. To find the least common multiple, take the product of all the prime numbers written down in steps 1, 2 and 3. Let's look at an example. Find the least common multiple of 24 and 90. First, we find the prime factors of each number. The prime factors of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. The prime factors of 90 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. The prime numbers 2, 3 and 5 appear in the factorizations. We follow steps 1 through 3 for each of these primes. The number 2 occurs 3 times in the first factorization and once in the second. So we will use 3 twos. The number 3 occurs once in the first factorization and twice in the second. So we will use two threes. The number five occurs zero times in the first factorization and once in the second factorization. So we will use one five. The least common multiple is the product of three twos, two threes and one five. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 equals to 316. Let's look at one more example. Find the least common multiple of 14 and 49. First, we find the prime factors of each number. 14 equals to 2 into 7, 49 equals to 7 into 7. The prime numbers 2 and 7 appear in the factorizations. We follow steps 1 through 3 for each of these primes. The number 2 occurs once in the first factorization and none in the second. So we will use 1, 2. The number 7 occurs once in the first factorization and twice in the second. So we will use 2 7s. The least common multiple is the product of 1, 2 and 2 7s. 2 into 7 into 7 equals to 98.
Wow! Thank you so much. Hope you have enjoyed this. Please contact me if you have any questions on fractions. Please visit and send me an email. Bye.